the campaign so far has been about migration. Yes. And he went over to France to do the D Day celebrations, which as an ex soldier, well, serviceman myself, Royal Navy, I appreciate very much the pressure you got So, with Keir Starmer and Rishi, how they are now, what do you think the people would think? Because you know, Rishi doesn't think they can win his seat. Well, who knows? I mean, look, I think the truth of it is the election's over. You know, the disgust with the Tories is so universal that Labour are going to win. Um, I don't view them as being very competent. I don't view Starmer as being particularly patriotic. But, but with our first past the post electoral system, that's where we are. But in some ways, it's exactly two weeks to go. Our opportunity now is to say, look guys, we know the result. Why don't you vote with your heart? So vote with, you, with your Tory or Labour, vote with your heart. If you agree with me on what I stand for, vote with your heart. And let us be the opposition, not a failed Conservative Party. That's what the election campaign is now for us all about. I think that's what a lot of people are worried about, was having a Conservative party choose point zero with all the Conservatives jumping ship onto the reform wagon yep. and turn it into the Conservative party. Yeah, well, we don't need that. We don't need no, that. We, we literally don't need that. And, and you know, I mean, there are some good people there. If they want to come on board, that's great. Yeah. But we're not going to be hijacked by them. Um, there's no way we're going to allow that. I, I genuinely don't think, despite being around for 190 years, that the modern-day Conservative Party is fit for purpose. You know, what, you know, what does it stand for? What does it do? It just lies. They tell us they're for low taxes, low immigration. Well, the 14-year record is the opposite to that. So, current poll, you as the leader of the opposition. Which polls you look at? Yeah. Um, the BBC, ITV, Sky News, they've all downplayed it. Is yeah. that just because it's reformed? Because no, it's because it's me. Because it's, it's, yeah. it's me. I'm the bogeyman. man. That's right. I'm the person the establishment loves to hate. They've been doing it for 20 years. Um, they can't cope with me. You know, I don't fit into the stereotype of what they're looking for. But you're right. The polling says, you know, if Labour are going to win, who do you think will be the best opposition leader? And they give a list of Boris, Rishi, me, Ed Davey. And I'm now coming top of those polls. Uh, and we need that in the next two weeks to feed through to all the rest of it. But if you do win your seat and you are in Parliament, which yeah. I really do hope you are because we need someone with your character in Parliament, yeah. you will be forming the opposition and you're going to want allies because obviously Labour are going to have that many seats in the House, they're going to steamroll anything they want to fight through. Yeah, well they will, but you know what I'm good at is mobilising mass movements. I'm good at mobilising millions of people. And the Starmer may be able to steamroll stuff, but if he sees mass millions against him, he might think again. Yeah. Uh, one question on the universities. Yeah. Student loans. Um, there's, there's talk about doctors, nurses having their student loans locked up if you come into power and leave. Well, I think the extent to which we're relying on foreign doctors and foreign nurses is outrageous. There are so many British people who can't get into medical school because the Tories cap the numbers. I've had a nurse today write to me from Derby to say she's fully qualified, come out of uni with a big student loan debt and being replaced by foreign workers brought in by agencies. I mean, unbelievable. We have doctors, surgeons qualifying and going to Australia, America. That's not right. And also, we're stealing doctors and nurses from countries much poorer than us where they needed even more than they are here. Radical rethink of the whole thing. So yes, I would say on student on student fees we, 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 we should exempt them because we need it. Overall, I'm a believer, and I have been for 20 years, that too many people are now going to university who'd be better off learning trades and skills. That's my view. Okay. Last question on immigration. Yeah. Immigrant comes across in a boat, what's going to happen? Not going to 
first day. No, I'm not going to stay. Photographs, fingerprinted, sent back Gone. within 24 hours. Gone. Not going to stay. Not going to stay. Yeah. That would stop the boat. <laughs> of course it would. Immediately, overnight. Because as it did in Australia 10 years ago. Exactly. But, but all the while we're part of the European Convention on Human Rights with the European Court in Strasbourg, that will never happen. We need to have the balls to leave it and get back our full sovereignty of our borders. Exactly. Nigel, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate your time.